Hello everyone, it's Sarah from Astonally Reads. I am here today with a middle grade book talk. You Go First by Erin Entrada Kelly. Uh, I got through this in a couple days. I kind of kind of feel like I'm starting to get my reading momentum back. I've gotten through three books in the last week and a half, so I'm ready to start sharing some with you. So this book, You Go First uh, by Erin Entrada Kelly is about two kids. Charlotte Lottie, as she likes to pretend her other um, her other persona is, and Ben. And they are kind of nerdy, not real popular, um, and, and they've met playing online Scrabble games with each other. So when they move their conversations from texting to actually talking on the phone, they start to embellish their lives a little bit, what they do, who their friends are. Uh, Lottie at one point changes her situation to be her friend's situation just to not feel like a loser. I mean, oh my, oh, and poor Ben, you know, the book is so good, and especially if you were not uh, not popular or kind of on the dork list in middle school, <laughs> you would totally understand this, and it hurts so much how mean, you know, how wrong people are. But as it goes with all the books that I love, there is a great sense of hope and courage and stick to itiveness, you know? And so with Charlotte and Ben, you see their growth throughout the book. Um, and they sort of wish that they were, you know, together so they could have lunch together so they could be like real friends as opposed to just fake friends, online friends. Yeah. But it, it was exactly what each of them needed in order to I don't know, sort of like springboard into who they would grow into. And um, so Charlotte struggles with being like sciencey. Her parents are older. Uh, Dad just had a heart attack and she's really worried about her father, but cannot bring herself to go see him at the hospital because uh, she sort of lives in worst case scenario. And her best friend, who's been her best friend for years, has started to grow up a little bit without her and sort of left her behind. So Charlotte feels Hello. <sighs> abandoned. And she becomes kind of friends with another weird kid at school. And, you know, they kind of found each other. I don't know. But it ends up being okay. It ends up being okay. I don't want to make it seem all negative because it isn't. But there were moments where I was like, no, because I knew what was going to happen, you know, and then there's Ben who wants so desperately to fit in and always does the right thing. He's polite. He's courteous. Adults like him. So, you know, the kids don't like him. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. But, oh my God, such a great, great story and a quick read and something that you just, your heart goes out, you know, and I love books like that. So, you got a couple days, you want a good read, you go first by Erin Entrada Kelly. I will be back tomorrow with another book talk. All right. Have a wonderful day. Check you later. Bye.